Tuesday, a press conference was held by City of Norton Commonwealth Attorney Chuck Slemp, who detailed the findings of an officer-involved shooting from July 17th. A caller called dispatch and said a white Chevrolet is on the side of the road near Route 603. The vehicle looked to be covered by a tree or tree limbs, that it appeared that someone was actively trying to hide the car or attempt to conceal its whereabouts with tree limbs. Deputy Robbie Robinson of the Wise County Sheriff's Department responded to a call involving a stolen vehicle and two missing juveniles around the Pine Branch area of the Dunbar community. The juveniles involved were a 16-year-old male and a 13-year-old female. Once arriving, Deputy Robinson attempted to apprehend the 16-year-old. In his attempt, Deputy Robinson was attacked with a knife. In his statement to the Virginia State Police, Robinson said, During the struggle, while we were on the ground, I felt him cut my throat with the knife. He hit my jugular, or I thought he hit my jugular. I was bleeding bad and blood was gushing. At that point, I pulled my gun and shot it. I'm not sure what position I was in or what position he was in at the time. After I shot, the fighting stopped and I pulled away from him. My radio cord was tangled up. After getting it somewhat untangled, I noticed my gun on the ground. I picked it up and holstered it. Here at Pikeville Medical Center's Heart and Vascular Institute, we have assembled a comprehensive team of cardiac specialists bringing expertise from all regions of the nation and the world. We have coupled that with cutting edge technology, providing them the best equipment and operating rooms available. The result is comprehensive cardiac care for the people of our region that is second to none. The Heart and Vascular Institute at Pikeville Medical Center. After shooting and killing the 16-year-old, Deputy Robinson administered first aid. He was admitted to the ICU upon arrival. He was in critical condition. He suffered five stab wounds and or lacerations to the face, to the neck, to the ear, and the head. He had severe blood loss. He was administered emergency treatment of 500 milliliters of blood, 200 cc's of plasma, clotting agent, 1,000 cc's of saline. His treatment required over 30 staples, over 40 stitches. Uh, I think one of the treating physicians said so many that they had to stop counting. After independent review, it was determined that criminal charges would not be filed against Deputy Robinson. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.